Hello, future real estate professionals. Welcome back to our channel where we're committed to helping you ace your state exams. If you're new here, my name is Maggie Reyoso and I'm a Florida licensed real estate instructor and the proud owner of Maggie's Real Estate Academy. I bring you tips and tricks that will help you pass the math portion of your real estate state exam. Today, we'll dive into an essential concept in the world of real estate, loan to value ratio or LTV. Understanding LTV is crucial for your success. So let's get started. To begin, let's define LTV or loan-to-value ratio. Loan-to-value ratio is a financial term used to measure the relationship between the loan amount and the appraised value or purchase price of a property. Expressed as a percentage, LTV provides insight into the risk associated with a loan and serves as a key indicator for lenders, home buyers, and real estate investors. Now that we know what LTV ratio is, let's explore why it's so important in real estate. LTV ratio helps lenders determine the level of risk involved in granting a loan while also assisting buyers and investors in assessing the financial feasibility of a property purchase. By analyzing the LTV ratio, lenders can evaluate the borrower's ability to repay the loan. A higher LTV ratio indicates a riskier investment as it signifies a larger loan relative to the property's value. For buyers and investors, understanding LTV helps gauge the equity position in a property impacting financing options, interest rates, and mortgage insurance requirements. A lower LTV ratio often translates to more favorable terms. Now, Let's put our knowledge to the test with a few practice questions. Remember, these questions are designed to mimic those you might encounter on your state exam. Take a moment to pause the video and write down your answers before we go over them together. Let's walk through the process of calculating the LTV ratio. The formula is simple. LTV ratio equals the loan amount divided by the property value multiplied by 100 to express it as a percent. Or we can just use the T method chart to solve those problems. I'll link a video in the comment section below explaining the T method. But it's so easy, I'm sure you'll figure it out just by watching me solve these problems that we're about to go over. For loan to value ratio, we can use the T method chart where the loan amount would be considered the part and the sales price or market value or assessed value would be the total amount. Your loan to value ratio would always be the percent. Let's look at some examples. Number one. If the loan to value ratio is 75% and the property value is $400,000, what is the loan amount? Remember to press pause if you would like to answer this question on your own. For this example, I will put the 75% in the percent column on the right. Remember to always convert your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. So 75 over 100 is going to equal 0 0.75. Now the property value of $400,000 will go in the total column here. Now, according to the T chart, all we have to do is multiply. So $400,000 times 0 0.75 equals $300,000. So my answer to this one is C. Number two, you're purchasing a property appraised at $150,000 and need a loan of $120,000. 
what is the loan to value ratio? Using the T-chart for this problem, we can say that the property appraised value of $150,000 is going to be our total amount. So that goes in this column. And the loan amount of $120,000 will go as the part on top. So now, according to the T-chart, all we have to do is divide. So $120,000 divided by $150,000 is going to equal 0 0.8. Now, remember, loan to value ratio is expressed as a percent. In order for us to convert 0 0.8 as a percent, all we have to do is multiply by 100, and that equals 80%. So our loan to value ratio is 80%. The answer to number two is B. Number three, the loan to value ratio for a mortgage is 90% and the loan amount is $180,000. What is the sales price of the property? Bringing in the T-chart, we can now fill it in. Remember to pause the video so that you can work these problems out on your own. Since we have a percent of 90, we will just place that here. Remember to convert your 90% to a decimal by dividing by 100. That is gonna equal 0 0.9. Now we have the loan amount of $180,000. That is just a loan amount, so we're going to put that on top. $180,000 here in the part section. Now, according to the T-chart, we just divide. So $180,000 divided by 0 0.9 equals $200,000. So my answer is C. Number four. A buyer wants to purchase a property with a value of $250,000. The lender requires a maximum LTV ratio of 90%. What is the maximum loan amount the buyer can obtain? In this example, we're given 90% as our rate. So we, that will automatically go in this column. So remember, change it to a decimal by dividing by 100. That is gonna equal 0 0.9. Now, we see that the property has a value of $250,000. So that will go in my total column. And now, according to the T-chart, we multiply. So $250,000 times 0 0.9 equals $225,000. So the maximum loan amount for this property is $225,000. The answer is C. Number five. A property is appraised at $800,000 and the borrower secures a loan of $640,000. What is the loan to value ratio? Using the T method, this $800,000 is the total amount. So that will go in this column. And the loan amount of $640,000 will go on top. And now we just divide. Remember that when you are working with these types of problems, and you have to find the rate, don't forget to multiply by 100 to find the percentage after dividing. So we're going to divide $640,000 by $800,000, and that equals 0 0.8. Now, remember to convert your decimal to a percent by multiplying by 100. Now that is going to equal 80% loan to value. So the answer for this one is B. 
Number six, a buyer secures a loan with an LTV ratio of 80% and a loan amount of $240,000. What is the sales price of the property? Remember to pause the video if you'd like to work these problems out on your own. In this example, they gave us a ratio of 80%. So that goes in my rate column. Convert it to a decimal by dividing by 100. That equals 0 0.8. Now the loan amount is $240,000. Since that is just a portion of the sales amount, that goes on the top here. So 240,000 goes in the part column. So now all we have to do is divide. So $240,000 divided by 0 0.8 equals $300,000. So the answer to this one is C. Number seven, you're considering buying a property with a value of $180,000. You plan to obtain a mortgage with a loan to value or LTV ratio of 75%. What is the maximum loan amount you can get? As we bring in the T chart, we can automatically place the 75% in the rate column. Convert it to a decimal by dividing by 100, so that equals 0 0.75. Now we have a property value of $180,000. That will go in my total column here. So we just now have to multiply. So $180,000 times 0 0.75 equals $135,000. That is their maximum loan amount. So the answer is C. Number eight, a buyer wants to purchase a property with a value of $400,000 and has made a down payment of $80,000. What is the loan to value ratio? Bringing in the T-chart, we see that the property value was $400,000. So that will automatically go in this column. And since this is the other dollar amount and the part column also includes dollar amount, we're going to put that at the top. And now we divide. So $80,000 divided by $400,000 equals 0 0.2. To convert that to a percent, remember to just multiply by 100. So that's going to equal 20%. So our loan to value ratio here is 20%. So my answer is A. Number nine, the loan amount for a property is $350,000 and the LTV ratio is 75%. What is the sales price of the property? In this example, we have a loan amount of $350,000. Remember, that is just a portion of the full sales price. So that will go on top. And your percent will always go in this column. Convert your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100, so that equals 0 0.75. Now we just divide. $350,000 divided by 0 0.75 equals 466,666 and 66 Six, six. So therefore, since this number is five or greater, this will increase one. But in my answers, I see that it's rounded to the nearest dollar amount. So since this is a six and a five or greater, we're going to raise this one. 
So my final answer is $466,667. So the answer to this one is C. Congratulations on completing the practice questions. You're well on your way to mastering the loan to value ratio. Remember, understanding LTV is crucial for lenders, buyers, and investors alike as it provides insight into the risk and financial feasibility of a property purchase. Don't forget to practice calculating LTV ratios on your own using the T method we used in this video. And let us know what you think of this little hack to solve problems. Okay, people, stay tuned for more valuable real estate exam tips on our channel. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. By doing so, you'll be among the first to access our exclusive real estate educational content. We also encourage you to share this video with anyone you think could benefit from it. Help us reach more aspiring real estate professionals and spread the knowledge across the community. Lastly, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below with any questions you have or topics you'd like for us to cover in future videos. We value your input and strive to provide content that meets your needs. Thanks for watching and best of luck on your journey toward real estate success. If you're looking to elevate your math understanding and boost your chances of acing the real estate exam, I wanna share something special with you. Introducing Math Skills for Real Estate Success, your ultimate companion to mastering real estate math packed with comprehensive exercises, step-by-step -step explanations, and invaluable tips. This workbook is designed to help you conquer any math challenge that comes your way. Head over to justcallmaggie.com forward slash shop and grab your copy today. Trust me, this workbook will be your secret weapon in becoming a math wits in the world of real estate.